kids and cadets. Welcome back to Tommy Time. Change of pace. Uh, no more mower video today. What I'm working on is a 2005 Focus a two liter, the SC edition, the Zebra X ray 4 is the uh, model number. So I'm working um, on this for a friend of mine. I had. Um, cleared the code on this once without doing any work. I made a note of the code, did some research. Code came back, of course, because I didn't do anything with it. And what we have is the P Papa 2004 code, which is the intake manifold runner control stuck open. And the pending code is the same thing. The P2004, the runner control stuck open. So there's several things you can look at. The first one is an easy one, and it requires um, you just visually inspecting the vacuum hose, and we're going to do that. I think that's what our issue is. So we'll change out the um, hose where I think it's faulty and uh, clear the code, have them drive the car for a while, see if the uh, P2004 comes back. So there's a great YouTube video by Jabo the mechanic. He'll get into more detail as far as pulling the whole manifold off and um, looking at actuators. I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to try to do an easy fix here and um, send them off to a, a mechanic to tear that down. And uh, if, it, if it requires more than a broken vacuum hose, but I've got my fingers crossed here for the easy fix. So let's uh, bring you to the front of the car here. Let me turn the ignition off. The um, car's got 105,000 miles on this Ford Focus. Okay, let's uh, bring you around to the front. So I pre-bought some uh, vacuum line. It's vacuum line slash windshield washer tubing and I got it for about a dollar a foot at um, AutoZone. The um, size of this is five thirty seconds vacuum hose slash windshield washer. It's also the four point zero millimeter if you want the metric conversion. Five thirty seconds. Uh, it would be inside diameter hose. Let me. Um, Pull the keys out of the ignition there. The bell's driving me crazy. <clears throat> so just um, a quick look at some of the vacuum lines. I think um, that's what the issue is. Um, the vehicle's been serviced by several independent small um, service centers like mom and pop type vehicles, no uh, Ford dealers. So I got the sun behind me, unfortunately. I'll try to get you down here. So here's your intake. The There's four of these runners or uh, flaps and they control air intake and they're vacuum operated so you want to look for broken or cracked hose and uh, darn it the the sun's following me let me show you the um hose here in the, the center there's a huge um, crack right there so that could create an issue 
if this is vacuum operated, you have an outside air source, it's not going to actuate these flaps. So there's a, a small split there. And apparently somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, worked on this before. There's another vacuum line here, and I just touched it and it pops off. Looking at the size of the inside diameter kind of looks uh, to be three-eighths line. And it's really loose down here at the uh, actuator. So if you take this 530 seconds line, you can see the nipple there. This is a nice tight fit. So that's how it should be. I'm y yanking on this thing and it's not uh, pulling off of that nipple. I put this hose back on. It's probably fuel line and um, it, it's just dancing there. It's not even creating any kind of attachment to the nipple. It's going up and down. So this is useless. You might as well just have it off because all the air is going to be rushing past the, the nipple and not actuating anything. So I'm going to remove this. It looks like they didn't have the right size in and um, when you're dealing with this vacuum stuff, you've got to be right on. There's no hanky-panky or switcheroo. If you, um, if you don't have it right, you're not going to have any action. You can see the, the uh, difference here in tubing size. Anyway, I'm going to keep looking around, check out all the... Um, the other hoses and make sure there's no splits, cracks, or uh, wrong size hoses. Hopefully we can rectify this. Like I said, Jabo the mechanical have this on a bench and he'll go through everything to check on this. There's a whole procedure which he may or may not cover of removing this and I think it's a couple hour project uh, to get this intake manifold off. Looks like a tight fit and it's something that I'm not going to tackle. Hopefully our vacuum lines are what's creating the problem and I'll be happy with uh, this cheap fix. Uh, I think he gave me four feet and it was a dollar a, a foot. It was on sale, 98 cents a foot. What I don't use, I'll save for uh, other projects. So this could be a $4 fix for you kids. So that's all I got. Like I said, I normally do lawnmower videos, but I, I thought I'd throw this at you. If you got, guys got that P20, uh, excuse me, 2004 code, on a Ford Focus, check your uh, vacuum lines first before you take it to the shop or try to tackle the job on your own. Hope you have a good day. Like I said, this is a two liter Ford Focus SE edition. Let's see if I can give you the engine model number up here on the nameplate. Group 5. Frank Mike X Ray Victor zero two point zero one Gamma Bravo is what the um, group engine group is. Okay, that's all I got. Have a good day. Thanks for coming out. We'll get back to mowers here in a couple minutes. This was just a quickie quick. Also, the uh, other issue was the door handle. I uh, just ended up buying a driver's side door handle because the door wouldn't open from the outside. I took off the whole panel, and it was just a little metal um, rod came off of a, a clip. So I reclipped it, put it back. We got action on the door. I didn't need the door handle. So I got lucky there as well. I'll just... Hold on to the door handle. It'll cost me more to send it back than what it's worth. It was only a couple of bucks. 
Have a good day. Tip your waitress and waitstaff. They're doing an awesome job. They depend on your generosity.